It's important for teachers to listen to students. Every student has their own story and they're dying to share it with you. And a lot of times if you stop what you're doing for just a moment just to listen, they will open up for you right in front of your eyes. I think we are so reactive with students. But investing some time to be proactive with the students is of paramount importance. First off, talking to the students at a neutral time outside of where there's behavior problems and getting to know the student and just genuinely asking them an open-ended question and letting the answer come without you, without you interjecting or without saying anything. And then after they've said their entire, uh, they've given their entire answer, whatever it is, restate it back to them just so you know that you were that that you were listening and you were a part of that conversation. It's important to understand that somebody is listening to you. If somebody can paraphrase what you've just said, it's very clear that they're not just off in their own world, that they're focused on you and they're giving you their full attention. Just as I would expect a scholar to be able to paraphrase what I was saying if I were up giving a lecture or having a classroom discussion, they should also have that expectation of me. I should be able to repeat back to them and give them my spin on what they've just said to sort of check in, like, is that what you were trying to say to me? If you attend to students and get down on their level, those are some of the practical things that you could use to practice listening with students. Students love to know that even though they're in a room full of kids, that you're the one that's listening to them at that particular time. It's important for me to make sure that my body is facing the scholar as they speak, to not be doing a lot of things with my hands, to make sure that I'm focused on them with my eyes, that my attention is physically on them as well as emotionally and just listening to them as well. I'll kneel down by their desk or I might whisper in their ear or sometimes I call them to the back table so that we can have a private conversation. Being able to express yourself is a human need. We all feel that need to share who we are, what we're thinking and what we're feeling. And just because they're very young doesn't mean that their opinions, their thoughts, their emotions, these are all very valid. It doesn't mean that they're worth any less than mine are.